and welcome to the next review requested again by the same person by a bionicle hunter or bio hunter um, he wanted me to review uh, one of the Inika Toa and um, a Borok from the 2002 so here we have um, a basic Borok from the the first series and uh, I I own all six of these, but I've just um, picked out one of them just to review since these were, this was the only one I built from the thing. So I just transform it out of its little board, so you can actually see its proper form. So this is just basically how the ball rock looks, and it seems to be missing the elastic band that fires the head. So let me just quickly get the. Alright, let me just quickly place the elastic band. Cause then the feet, the firing feature won't work as good with that one. Alright, that's fine. So yeah, the ball rock were released around 2002. Um, after the Rahi, these were like the next, um, the the enemies that Toa faced. The the queen, the ball rock queens, um, Kadok and Gadok. The those were the ball rock queens that released them. Um, the different ball rock for you know to take over with Martinu and whatnot. So this is just a basic, like a ball rock. This is sort of based on a bug type creature because it transforms into a ball and it can roll and stuff. This was pretty good design. These these were nice, small, and you know had their different little weapons, but had this little mechanism where you could um, push the little lever thing down and it would then project the projectile thing type fire the head forward and then you know re go back. So you could just keep going like that. Also, sort of like where it all started off from, like the Rakshi and, you know, these were sort of like the first the binacles to be like holding a brain type thing that would control these. Without these, these were just empty shells that would just die out. Without the Piranha, these were called the Piranha, um, you know, these, they, these had different stages, each brain was like powerful than the other one, so, you know. That was probably, there was like six different ones. This is of course like the main one. Yeah. And this would be just placed in there. Of course if you don't close it properly, you could just like fire that out. And then it would latch onto one of the Toa and turn them into evil. As what happened to Liwa. So, these were actually pretty decent back in the days. Like it's got the small little leg um, designs here. So it's like easily... These are all... Um, made nice and small and compact so when they were transformed to a ball there was nothing like sticking out or anything was just wrong even the actual body piece is sort of like semi-circular um, type thing so if I transform this back into the ball you will see that how cleverly Lego have made this like circular and round so it is actually look like a ball So here, look, it's become the ball now, and you can just like, just roll it about, and just catch it and whatnot, and it still stays within the, in its original form. Pretty decent. These were actually really good back in the days. Then of course, the um, advanced upgrades came out, the Borok Carl, that has metallic pieces. I'll review that in the next, in another review, not the next one. So yeah, the color schemes are really good. I actually really like the color scheme because they, they were similar throughout. So as you can see, this is like the black ball rock. The main, like per, the main color is black. Has a has like four gray pieces. The white pieces are to show is like their teeth and the green little eyes. And yeah, perfect set. And everything about this set was good actually. The color scheme, the designs, and what you could actually do. So pretty decent. Um. You know, Makuta slash Rahi or whatever you want to call it. Let's just call it the the frets. You know, the 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 but the, 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 the Toa, the the thing that fret the binoculars or whatnot. You know, you can just use your imagination and fucking thing or something. So yeah, um, I think I'll um, conclude my review here. As of um, I've said what I wanted to say about it. 
really good set worth getting if you still don't own any of them or if you're still trying to track down the 2001 binacles definitely worth purchasing them uh, yeah so um yeah i think that's about it really um yeah so i'll see you in the next um, video review